beyond just the scientific accomplishments, it's really um, what he's meant for me is, is he's taught me the importance of collaboration and the importance of working with people and the relationships that you build. Gordon Guyot was born and raised in Hamilton, where he developed an early love of literature and writing. Uh, I'd actually at one stage thought that I might like to write novels and got partway through my first novel and uh, it became clear that I don't, didn't really have it. But I write pretty well, not at that level. I just had the right amount of that um, uh, to, uh, to be able to do it at a, at a very high level within scientific writing. Gordon is a very innovative methodologist and he's an extremely clear communicator. His editorial skills are profound and he, he, he writes very incisively. His brilliant ability to synthesize very complex ideas and distill them down into something very simple. Dr. Gordon Guyot is one of the founding fathers of evidence-based medicine from its inception in 1990 at the McMaster University. We knew that what we were practicing when we did clinical work on the outpatient clinics and the wards was a different type of medicine than people had previously done. We were referring to evidence and using it in a fundamentally different way than prior generations of physicians. And he has contributed more than anyone else, I think, in moving this field forward in terms of improving diagnosis, treatment, and follow-up of patients using best current research evidence at the point of care. Gordon's influence developing the tools of critical appraisal, coining the term evidence-based medicine, and his uh, ongoing uh, teaching and promotion of evidence-based practice has really transformed the way people practice. He is a spectacular teacher. He's able to think about evidence-based medicine in a way that works for clinicians. And when Professor Guy comes to lecture, he's teaching typically about cutting edge area of clinical epidemiology, biostatistics, or evidence based medicine. That's, of course, why we randomize to try and get a prognostic. Factor. One of the things that stands out most about Gordon is the long list of um, people that he's mentored that are having now having an important impact uh, around the world. He's also an incredibly impassioned educator and he just transmits this love of learning to everybody around him. And many of these uh, people that Gordon has mentored have become uh, world leaders in their fields in clinical research and health research methodology, guidelines, etc. To build on evidence-based medicine, uh, Gordon wrote, uh, with, with help from colleagues, the User's Guide to Medical Literature. Which is a JAMA textbook that provides guidance on how to use research evidence in clinical practice for diagnosis, treatment, and follow-up of patients. So now, uh, certainly North America, Europe, probably probably all over the world, uh, everybody accepts that learning about how to read the literature has to be a core part of training, has to be a core part of medical training, undergraduate training, and postgraduate training, and in other uh, in other specialties. Gordon played an instrumental role in the development of GRADE and uh, it's now been adopted by over 80 organizations worldwide. His loyalty is, is also legendary to his friends and his colleagues and his collaborators. The pioneer of evidence-based medicine, passionate teacher, and globally respected collaborator, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Gordon Guyot.